Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. So you think your watch may be magnetized, or you're just interested to know what magnetization is to a watch, and how do you then demagnetize it? Well, having a watch magnetized is an issue that mostly affects mechanical watches, and what it does is it magnetizes various parts within the mechanical watch itself. In particular, it affects the balance wheel and the hairspring. In particular, the hairspring. That seems to be the most issue that magnetization affects watches. And when it is magnetized, it affects the accuracy of the watch. What happens is those very fine pieces of metal in that spring become magnetized, they start sticking to each other, and it affects how the watch is moving, how the watch is releasing energy, and how it affects the movement of those gears that are within. So how did your watch then become magnetized? Well, in the modern world, we are surrounded by magnets and magnetic fields. There's some very obvious ones like actual magnets. Fair enough, we know what that is. Don't put that too close to your watch. But there are a lot of things around us that also can magnetize your watch, including things like your computer, your mobile phone, your refrigerator, and your microwave. Those things have a magnetic field within them and it can affect your watch. However, that doesn't mean you should now avoid getting your watch anywhere near your fridge or your microwave, and you certainly shouldn't worry about holding your mobile phone in the hand which your watch is attached to. Just because it can cause your watch to be magnetized doesn't mean it will. So how do you know if your watch has been magnetized? Well, a few years ago, I was of the understanding that if your watch was magnetized, you would start getting these large deviations in the accuracy of your watch. You would start getting five minutes, 10 minutes, plus a day, and it'll be really obvious that your watch is magnetized. But I took a watch to my local watchmaker a few years ago. It was running about 20 seconds fast, which is not horrendous, but I really wanted to bring it down to maybe 10 seconds a day and try and get it sort of regulated. And what he said to me is, well, it's probably just magnetized. He demagnetized it for me, and it dropped it down to about plus 12 seconds a day. So I spoke to him about that and I said, well, I thought it was these massive different ranges in accuracy if it was magnetized. And he went, no, it can be a massive change in accuracy or it can even be a minor change in accuracy. Because obviously these things that get magnetized within our watches can be magnetized at different levels, different things can be magnetized, multiple things can be magnetized, and obviously that will affect the accuracy of our watches. So then how do we in real life now check to see if our watch has been magnetized? Well, let's flip the camera around and let me show you. So I bought this Seiko Sumo about two or three weeks ago, and I've been noticing that it's been gaining around about 10 seconds a day. Now, 10 seconds a day is actually well within the accuracy rating of this 6R35 movement that's inside this watch. However, I felt that perhaps that it may be magnetized. I tested it. I found that it is magnetized. And today I'm going to show you what the accuracy of it is today on the time grapher. I'm then going to demonstrate to you how to test for whether it is magnetized. I'm going to demagnetize it. I'm then going to put it back on the time grapher. So first of all, let's see how it's running on this time grapher. I do have to say the numbers on this watch off the time grapher have been a little bit all over the place. But as you can see, it says it's plus 28 seconds per day. That is well outside of what it should be for a 6R35 movement. Amplitude's also quite low. Bit error is not too bad and obviously 21,600 vibrations per hour. As you can see now, dropping down to minus three. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take it off. Let's test to see if it is magnetized, demagnetize it, and hopefully we start getting some better figures. So how are we gonna to test to see if this is magnetized besides seeing on the time grapher that obviously something's not quite right? Well, we're going to use one of these, a compass. Obviously, a compass uses the magnetic fields of the Earth to, to direct that needle towards a magnetic north. But what else affects the needle of a compass? Magnets. And if your watch has been magnetized, it has become a small magnet. So what we do is we move the watch closer to the compass, and if that compass needle moves, then you know your watch has been magnetized. And as we can see, there's a little bit of movement there. So you can sort of control that movement of the needle by using the watch itself. Because it is now a magnet, it affects the needle. So now we know our watch is magnetized and we now have checked it, we've used that compass and we can say, yep, my watch is now magnetized. What do I do now? 
Well, you've got two options. Firstly, you can take it to your local watchmaker that you trust with your watch and they can demagnetize it for you. They can use a demagnetizing machine that they will have on hand. And I want you just to be aware that there's a reasonable chance it should be a free experience for you. If they do charge you money for it, it should only be a small amount of money because I can tell you right now, this process of demagnetizing your watch takes a few seconds only. And if they try to charge you too much money for that, then perhaps they're not the best watchmaker to be going to. I understand they do have to make a living. I understand they do have to pay for the machines that demagnetize your watch. However, for five seconds worth of work, they shouldn't be charging you a large amount of money. But can you demagnetize a watch in your own house? Well, of course you can. So let me show you how we do that. So how do we demagnetize it then? Well, we use a demagnetizer. Now these demagnetizers are not particularly expensive. You can get them for $25 off AliExpress. That's where I got mine. I will leave a link below. It'll be one of those affiliate links. If you wanna buy one of these demagnetizers, just click on that, buy the machine. If you choose to do that, however, I get a tiny little bit of commission because it is one of those affiliate links. So here we have it. Basically, it's a tube which you run your watch through. There is a button to turn it on. Light pops up to show that it's working. Run your watch through a couple of times, not too quickly, not too slowly, and then it should be done. When you turn it on, you can feel that it's humming. You can see the light activate. And let's pass the watch through and see if it makes much of a difference. We pass it through the hole there. We bring it back through. I'll put it one more time and back through again. Now that actually should be enough to demagnetize the watch. So let's stick it back on the time grapher. Let's see if those figures are a little bit better. And as we can see, there's been a significant change. Obviously the vibrations and the beat error haven't changed. The amplitude has actually come up a little bit from 189 to 198. And it is now sitting about minus four to plus one second a day. Prior to demagnetizing it, it was wildly ranging between minus four seconds and plus 25 seconds. So that has made a very big and significant change to how this 6R35 movement is running. So now that it has been demagnetized, it is running significantly better, much more within the accuracy rating of what a 6R35 movement should be. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please feel free to leave me a comment below about if you've enjoyed this video or about your own experiences with a watch that has been magnetized. Okay, I'll see you again in the next video.